Hello, I'm with WatchDig. This is Hugh Daugherty, and we are going to be testing a iPhone app that will tell you how slow or fast your watch is running uh, on a uh, daily basis, how slow or fast it runs on a, you know, per day, how many seconds. And we've decided to uh, to use a, a, a vintage pocket watch because it makes a makes a lot of noise. So this is a uh, Waltham Vanguard, uh, circa 1911. So I'm here with uh, Tom Keel. He is with the NAWCC School of Horology, working in the uh, the repair center, and he is going to first test the watch on some of the equipment we have here to provide us with a little bit of a baseline so that we can compare the results from our equipment with the results we get from the uh, the iOS app. Uh, the app is called uh, Kello, and uh, it seems like an interesting app. It's something that people who have really good timepieces might want to know, uh, how slow or fast it's running. And it could be an indicator that you have to uh, send your watch for, uh, for servicing. So I'm going to turn this over to you, and if you can mm -hmm. explain what this equipment is and what it's doing and how it works. And Well, this is a timing machine that we'll normally use in the service center. And uh, what we do is we put the, the watch on the timing machine. And there's a built-in microphone right here, which will listen for the tick. And what we'll do is we'll make the screen viewable. And we'll let it test away. Now there's a little period of time where it's uh, letting it uh, stabilize. And then we'll see some actual test results. And we can talk while this is going on. Uh, that doesn't affect... Uh... Um, only if you ask if you want to order a milkshake or fries or something with it. No, it should not affect it. Okay. Uh, what we do find is, however, when the air conditioner is running, there's a lot of noise that will appear to interfere with it. Or uh, there are some things that seem to interfere with it. But yes, we can speak. Uh, okay. You will see actual... Uh, little spots on the screen if there is interference. So oh, okay. at this time we don't see any. So this is the second slow or fast per day for this timepiece, this pocket watch. Mm -hmm. You see it fluctuating. What does the uh, 307 represent? 307 is the amplitude of the, uh, here, uh, the uh, balance going back and forth, how much it um, how much uh, power? What do you mean? Like, uh, power is not the right word. It's called amplitude. How much swing it has when it when the uh, okay. spring is going by. The 1.4 milliseconds is the beat. How even the swing to the left or to the right is. Um, when it is perfectly on, it will be zero. And uh, the bigger the number, the more the gap is between the two. Uh, so at this point, we're seeing. Um, roughly minus four seconds per day, minus three, it does move around. And this is telling us what it is with this watch in this position with this, at, yeah. at this time. Correct. It will fluctuate during the course of the day with things like right. temperature and, and the angle that you're holding it at. Mm -hmm. The more precise the watch, the uh, number of joules, how well it was maintained will affect all of these readings, obviously. So how does this watch rate? I mean, in terms of in the terms result. of a pocket watch, it's doing fine. Again, I would again want to see the uh, the uh, the beat closer to zero. Okay. So that we would uh, want to adjust if we were doing it. If you were actually servicing the watch. Correct. So otherwise, looks good. Okay. So it seems like we're uh, getting up to six, seven seconds a day now, or mm -hmm. losing six or seven seconds a day. Right. So that's about it. So we okay. would say at that point we're pretty well, uh, the reading has taken place okay. for this position. So, okay. All right. Great. So we got, a, uh, we got results on, uh, and what is this machine? If you want to. This is a Witchy Chronoscope Model M, is in Mary 1. M1. Okay. Fantastic. So we can just pull this out of and here. And we should say that it is beating at 18,000 beats per second is our standard. Okay. I'm sorry, 18,000 beats per, per, uh, per hour. Okay. So let's take this out, and now we are going to test it against the Kello app. Okay, well, we have the, uh, the Kello app up, and uh, this is on a 
iPad uh, 2. So, and we did connect the uh, connect the, uh, the the microphone that comes with the uh, that comes with uh, the uh, the iPad, and that is recommended as from the uh, the app developer for testing. You can test it by holding the watch against the uh, against the uh, the microphone, but uh, it's strongly recommended that you have some kind of, of good um, <clears throat> good microphone to uh, to record the uh, to record the sound. So we're going to put this in the pocket watch and we have a paper towel here to uh, to wrap this in just to keep it keep it cushioned and to cut down on uh, on any uh, on any outside noise. So okay, we're good there and I'll hold that and we're going to click on start and we'll try to be quiet while this uh, while this determines the frequency. And here we go. You can see that it's fairly, uh, fairly close to uh, where we were before. It seems to have a little bit more fluctuation. Oh, now we're going in the, uh, going in the opposite direction. And this will keep going uh, for as long as uh, as long as we hold it there right now. Um, and of course, you can see as I introduce sound, it starts to uh, it starts to affect the uh, affect the app. Um, results aren't exactly uh, results aren't exactly the same as uh, same as recorded on the uh, on the more professional device. So. Um, yeah, that's something to take into uh, take into consideration. Although when uh, when it first started, it gave a reading that was fairly close to what was recorded. It's also important to note that the timing of a watch is affected by the way in which it's held, the, um, the temperature, all kinds of factors. So in the uh, in the the testing device in the professional testing device it's held in place um, in an exact position testing with this uh, obviously we're not necessarily in a uh, an exactly stable position 
so that will affect uh, that will affect the results. And in our previous tests, this we've uh, because of the uh, well here we're getting some results, uh, and you can see right off the bat it gives us at results that are fairly accurate. Of course, I'm talking, so that's why it uh, why it keeps jumping into the uh, evaluating signal. I would say that the uh, the only uh, the only challenge with this app, and it has nothing to do with the app itself, is the need for uh, for a really good uh, a really good microphone. Um, Obviously, this uh, this is standard Appleware uh, uh, material. So, you know, if you have something that's a little bit better, uh, you're going to get better results. So we can pause that. And all in all, it's a fairly interesting app. Um, it uh, it does what it says, uh, and to the extent that. You would be able to take uh, a watch, a mechanical watch, and uh, and tell how many seconds it's fast or slow per day, and that could be an indicator of a need for uh, for servicing or something that you could uh, that you could share with uh, share with your friends and uh, just uh, keep track of the uh, the accuracy of your uh, of your watch. Thank you very much.